بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم <coughs> الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أي الحبة في الله the Sheikh said حفظ الله تعالى there is no doubt that a believer a Muslim a da'i will come across harm's way so indeed the best of Allah's creation were harmed in the cause of Allah and while calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they are the prophets and the messengers alayhim afdal salatu wa salam they were harmed more than we will ever be harmed with and they were tested with the worst of enemies greater enemies than we will ever have the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said the people with the greatest trials are the messengers then the pious people, then those who are closest to them, those who are most like them, then those who are most like them. So whoever clings on to the book of Allah and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then there is no doubt then that he will be harmed. So prepare yourself to be patient. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al -kareem, إِنَّمَا يُوَقَّ الصَّابِرُونَ أَجْرُهُمْ بِغَيْرِ حِسَابٍ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, Indeed, the patient will be given their reward without account, meaning without limit. And Allah has ordered His Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to take the messengers of strong will as examples. Allah has ordered the Prophet ﷺ, He ordered the Prophet ﷺ to take the other messengers as examples. Those stories of the messengers ﷺ are there for us as examples so how we can better our lives. They're not just tales of the ancients, but they are tale, they are, they are uh, uh, um, stories for us to know and understand uh, to know about those prophets والسلام, and to implement the wisdom in our lives and implement and be patient and implement to strengthen us in our iman and in our religion. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al kareem fasbir kama sabra ul al azm من الرسل ولا تستعجل لهم. الله سبحانه وتعالى says في في كتابه الكريم. So be patient as were those of determination amongst the messengers and do not be impatient for them. So we have in the message of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم. And in all of the rest of the messengers of Allah, alayhim afdal salatu wasalam, the best of examples. The messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam was ordered to take the messengers before him as examples and to follow their guidance. And we were ordered to take him salawatu rabbi wasalamu alayhi as an example and follow his ways. Allah tabarak wa ta'ala said, fi kitab al kareem there has certainly been for you in the messenger of Allah an excellent pattern for anyone whose hope is in Allah and the last day and who remembers Allah often. The best example for us is the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam being patient, being patient on the, his, his knowledge was from Wahi, was from revelation. So it's upon us before we call to Allah, before we set an example to gain knowledge of what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam received from revelation in the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in the authentic sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. A good and complete example in every fair that the Messenger was the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. An example in his aqidah so we believe in what he believed in. An example in his ibadah so we worship Allah with sincerity following what the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came with. An example of his excellent manners that a lot of the du'at may not have. This is the Shaykh, uh, Shaykh Rabi, Shaykh Rabi is saying this. And this is an old treatise, but the people 
many of the people they claim they they love the sheikh and they want to follow uh, they, his knowledge and so forth but do they practice this do we practice this the sheikh said an example in his excellent manners that a lot of the du'at may not have manners that are not present in a lot of the youth and a lot of them may have forgotten all of those manners or most of them Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَإِنَّكَ لَعَلَى خُلَقٍ عَظِيمٍ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and indeed you are of a great moral character this is the Prophet sallallahu the best of examples for us alayhi salatu wasalam the da'i to Allah, the student of knowledge, and all of those who direct the people and advise them. They are in need of taking the message of Allah as an example. An example in his aqidah, his minhaj, meaning his methodology, and his manners. If these things are complete in a da'i, or close to completion, and his, his da'wah is presented to the people in its most beautiful and most complete form, then this da'wah will be successful inshallah. And if one of these issues were to be absent, and from the, his patience, wisdom, kindness, softness, and other things that are necessary and required by the, the da'wah of the messengers, alayhim afdhu salatu wasalam, things that we have to use, but many people are unaware of. The shaykh is advising us from the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam is to be kind and gentle with one another. Even with Ahlul Bid'ah, if, is, is, if it is necessary to be harsh, then that, that's a time for harshness. But to always have one position, always have one motive, someone might be an Ashari, he might be a Sufi, but he might listen to you if you come to him with gentleness. I know many in my community here in, in Seattle, Washington, and they know I'm Salafi. Even uh, the, the whole the people here know I'm Salafi. Wherever I go, I do some dawah in some of the masajid, and some of the masajid, they don't let me do dawah. But I treat them, I treat the imam with respect, even though he's ashari. And I see they have some to so of, and they invite extreme Sufis from Hamza Yusuf's uh, 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 center to come. But they don't see me arguing and fighting and debating. They know what I'm upon. I know what they're upon. If I have opportunity to, to advise and I advise some of the people in the masjid and they accept from me or else they don't accept from me, then this is that. But with gentleness, they even respect me. They will at least listen. But if you're harsh and only and you try to make hajar of the people and you're few in number, you're enough, you're one person, then yes, you'll be making hajar in the parking lot. You'll be praying in the parking lot. While the others are praying in the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, worshiping Allah as a Muslim community. So show gentleness and kindness in your da'wah. This is the asl. This is what we should be doing, even with Ahl bidah Then the Shaykh said, Hafidhullah ta'ala, he said, Then the Salafi da'wah and its people would be harmed if one were to be unaware of these manners. Look at the case that we have. The dawah, the minhaj is there. You can't hurt the minhaj, the methodology. But the effort and the dawah and the call is harmed because of so many people who tried to destroy the dawah or who were unaware they were destroying the dawah. They meant good, but they began their call by cutting off people. They began their call by speaking about this one and this one. They began their call not by teaching the people, by, by getting in the manners of big major issues, instead of starting with the small issues, as the ulama Rabbaniyun teach. That this is the meta, that's as Ibn Abbas, I think it was Ibn Abbas who, who mentioned that, about the, uh, the, the, the ulama Rabbaniyun, about the meaning of that. They begin the people with the small issues in knowledge before the big. That's Rabbaniyun, min tarbiya. A tarbiya is given the, is like educating or to, 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 to teach them levels and stages like you teach your children. Tarbiya. You don't teach your children, uh, you don't begin your children and they don't know language 
that you begin to teach them mathematics. I mean, advanced mathematics. You're teaching them algebra and they haven't learned ABC yet. No, you, that's not usually the case. Likewise, when we make Tarbia as people giving Dawa, that you have to start the people on their level. And you raise them in stages by teaching them the Asas of the Deen, Usul Fid Deen, Usul Ad Deen, Creed, Tawheed, knowing that Allah is the only one worthy of worship and that we should direct all the worship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with sincerity, ikhlas, and, and thabat ala sunnah. This is what you have to teach the people. But you don't be, begin the people with those major issues and begin the people and attack the Tao, attack the Tao with your very actions by cursing and attacking and je jealousy and envy and enmity towards the people and causing in enmity and hatred between your community and other communities. How is that calling to Allah? Have you brought one person closer to Allah? Or did you scare hundreds away from the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Wa'iyadhan billah middalika. The Shaykh then said, Then the Salafi Dawah and its people would be harmed if one were to be unaware of these manners. And all that is presented to the people is what they dislike and what they hate from harshness and so on. These things are hated even in the worldly matters. So what do you think about the matters of the deen? Allahu Akbar. This is the Shaykh who a lot of people claim about him that he's harsh and claim that he's this and claim that he's that. But we have some things from his own words. That doesn't mean every he doesn't have shortcomings and mistakes as we all do. All of us. The Prophet ﷺ said it. All the children of Adam make sin. And those who, uh, the best of them are those who repent. These things are hated even in the worldly matter. So what do you think about the matters of the deen? How does one study? Then the Shaykh opens up, the, you know, how does one study? You study the biography of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You study his manners. You study his aqidah, his minhaj. Some people do not care for the aqidah or the minhaj of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They follow other beliefs and other manahij that, that shaitan has made up for those whom Allah has disgraced from the people of innovations and misguidance. Others are granted success by Allah in following the correct aqidah, but they lose the correct minhaj. This happens often as well, brothers and sisters, is that some of the people, they know their aqidah in general is sound. They're calling the kitab, was sunnah, and, 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 and the creed is correct. But then their minhaj, because of their environment, because of people around them, because of whatever the situation is, they begin to take shortcuts in, in their dawah. They begin to compromise their dawah. They begin to, whatever the case may be, to cause them to deviate in their methodology. They say, hey, I know correct Aqidah, but I'm going to go with Jamaat al tabliq even though major, many major scholars have advised against that. I'm going to join and, and make protest. They, they say these things. But their Aqidah generally is sound. But you see that they differ with those ulama rabbaniyun of this time who've looked at these Masail from Ahl Sunnah and, and determined that this is not something from the deen, Aslan. And that it has no benefit, especially in a Muslim society. Especially in a Muslim society. And that's a compromise of the minhaj. Even though their aqidah in general might be sound. May Allah guide us in them, I mean. Others are granted success by Allah in following the correct aqidah, but they lose the correct minhaj. Others are granted success in following the correct Aqidah and Minhaj, but in their conduct and their behavior, they lose both the Aqidah and the Minhaj. Allahu Akbar. Again, others are granted success in following the correct Aqidah and Minhaj. They're on the correct Aqidah. The and Tawheed and, and their methodology of giving Dawah. But in their conduct and their behavior, they lose both the Aqidah and the Minhaj. The truth is with them. They are the people of the truth. They have the correct Aqidah and the correct Minhaj. But their behavior and their manner in giving Dawah harms the Dawah and destroys it. So it shows us the importance 
of all aspects of the deen. We can't criticize the Hizbis. We can't criticize Jamaat al Tablik for emphasizing only Salat or aspects of the deen, and we're only emphasizing only certain aspects of the deen. We leave off other parts of the deen. That's not what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us to do. The deen is kamil. Enter into Islam in, in, uh, entire, in its entirety. Fully. Full submission to Allah Azza wa Jal. So be aware of opposing the message of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in his Aqidah, Minhaj, and how he Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to give Dawah. Follow the prophetic directions that call to wisdom, patience, forgiveness, tolerance, softness, as well as other things and understand them well. So you understand how and when to implement those aspects of the Dawah. We're not talking about compromising the Dawah and throwing out Hajr and throwing out refutations, rudud, and all those other things. No. But it's knowing when and how to apply this. This is what so many people are ignorant of. I hear it all the time. Some people who have no knowledge, they want to advise you, and they say, you're not refuting so-and-so. You're not saying about this. They don't have any idea about the wisdom of da'wah ilallah. They haven't sat with the ulama. They haven't even listened to the ulama. What are they talking about? They're talking about their own kawaid and principles from a lack of hikmah, from a lack of wisdom, a lack of fiqh fiddeen. May yiradullahu bi khayran yifakhu fiddeen. Whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives them understanding of the religion. May Allah grant us that ameen. Do not just take one side of Islam and leave off the rest. Do not just use one way of giving da'wah, being negligent of the rest of the ways. Because this is harmful to the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as it is harmful to the da'wah and its people. By Allah, the Dawah did not start in recent times or in any other time except through people who are scholars, the wise who represent the minhaj of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who practice it and act upon it according to their abilities. And Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has benefited the people through them. And the Salafi Dawah spread to all corners of the world. The Dawah was spread with the manners, the knowledge, and the wisdom. These days we see that the Salafi Dawah is going backwards. May Allah bless you. Because it has lost the wisdom of these people, of those ulama. First and foremost, it has lost the wisdom of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his patience, his forgiveness, and his kindness. By Allah, Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha had insulted a Jew. So the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Oh Aisha, Allah loves kindness in everything. This hadith was authentically collected by Bukhari and Muslim. The same hadith, if a scholar were to mention it today to the youth in order to direct them into following the correct minhaj, they would say that this is Tamir. This is what the people say. <laughs> All the time you hear this. Wallah understand. They would say that this is Tamir. Likewise, meaning that it's, uh, this term refers to a compromising the da'wah and watering it down, watering down those principles and kawa'id of Ahl Sunnah. This is what this term is in reference to. Likewise, if you mentioned wisdom, patience, tolerance, forgiveness, kindness, softness, things that are from the necessities of the da'wah and from the tools that we use to bring the people into the correct minhads so that they may enter into the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in masses, they would say that this is now they use deterrence which chases the people away and from amongst you there are those who chase the people away. The Messenger of Allah said, make things easy and do not make things difficult and give good uh, tidings and do not chase the people away. This is what the Prophet said. He had already وسلم, <laughs> given this prophetic advice but we don't implement it. We don't practice it. Instead we chase and attack and uh, run the people away from the da'wah and the deen of Allah Azza wa Jal wa'iyadu billah min dhalika O brothers these people are unaware for by Allah if they were uh, aware it would be incumbent upon them to call to the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam himself a mumayyah that's 